Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm filming an updated video from a year ago, which was my number one favorite product from most brands I have in my collection. There has been so many new products and brands that have launched since that video, so it'll be interesting to see how things have changed. I did decide to exclude some brands because I either don't have a favorite or I've only tried one or two products from them. And I also didn't want this video to be 500 years long. So before we get started, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it. I really thought this cat plushie was going to be cute in the background, but he's making me uncomfortable. He's really staring, isn't he? <laughs> I feel judged. But starting with Armani Beauty, they have a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of beautiful products, but my number one favorite is still the Luminous Silk Foundation. This is such a great one to fall back on, especially if I'm encountering some textural issues. It just seems to make my skin look smoother than it actually is. I love the dimensional skin finish. It adds to my skin. It makes it look luminous. It gives a very unique skin finish to your skin and it feels really lightweight and barely there. It's just such an amazing one. Even after all these years, it still feels like a modern product. Moving on to About Face, this was tricky. I have two top favorites. I love the Cherry Pick lip color butters, but I think my ultimate favorite is still the Fluid Eye Paints. They just unleash so much creativity. I love to use these in a variety of ways on their own as eyeliners, as a one and done shadow. Uh, you can mix them together to create your own colors. They're just so fun and easy to use. The consistencies are great. I just love them. They're incredible products and they're my go-to for like these kind of face paint-esque products. Perfect formula, perfect colors, just perfect in every single way. Love them. <laughs> My next brand is Bobbi Brown and I immediately thought of these. These are the Longwear Cream Eyeshadow Sticks in the shade Taupe and Bark. I love matte cream eyeshadow stick. I feel like they're so easy and versatile to use every day, especially the shade Taupe. It's my perfect crease color. I often use this type of tone in my crease to build my look and it's also the perfect tone to enhance my eyes every day if I just need something really quick and easy. The consistency of these is really nice. They're super creamy and easy to work with, but then they set down and they're there all day just like a powder shadow would be. Very simple product but they're so versatile you can create something very natural or very full glam with these just depending on how much you use their they're awesome products. Moving on to Clio. I think it's my favorite brand I've discovered from like my K-Beauty hauls. I have loved every single product, but the one that I love the most is of course the mascara. I never shut up about it. My favorite one is the Kill Lash Super Proof Mascara in Volume Curling. O2, it's the best. The wand is so awesome at grabbing every single lash and coating it, and it's super, super waterproof and life-proof, and it just keeps the curl in my lashes like no other mascara has ever done. It definitely beats every single waterproof mascara I've ever tried or any mascara in general. I don't know how I'm going to find something better than this. It's truly the best. My next brand is Charlotte Tilbury. I think there are so many like classic products from Charlotte Tilbury, but my favorite is still the Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. I bring this on every trip, even if I'm just going away for like one night, this is the palette I pack. It just has all of the tones I go in with for any type of look. I just love all the tones in here and the shadow itself has such a unique texture. They're not super flat matte matte mattes. They have like a, a nice kind of sheen to them so they look really glamorous on the eye and that sheen just makes these blend out so much easier. The blendability of this palette is insane and the pigmentation is there and it just makes your eyes look really enhanced and beautiful. It's just incredible. The black in here is awesome at creating kind of like a latexy smoky eye. Stunning. My microphone decided to not record audio for a portion of the video so I'm here to re-record that. My Clé de Peau favorite is for sure their concealer. It is phenomenal through and through. I adore it for its high potent coverage and its texture is also very concealing. It has a really nice soft blurring texture. If you're familiar with the NARS potted concealer, it has a very similar refined matte texture, but this one's even finer. And I love concealing blemishes with this one because it doesn't draw attention to them because of its blurring finish. It doesn't have any glow to kind of catch the eye. It just completely blurs it out, helps to conceal that situation, but it also is incredible to use as a foundation or as an under eye concealer. 
what can't this concealer do? I don't know, it does it all for me. Now let's talk about Clinique and my favorite product from them are their Cheek Pop blushes. These made the most impact on me this year. I haven't really tried too much from Clinique in past years. I've been really discovering them this year and I feel like these really made me wanna dive into their products. These blushes are amazing. They're really hard pressed so you wouldn't expect their pigmentation. They have a stunning, stunning feel. They're very, very soft and silky. They almost feel baked. This feels like a combination of some of my other favorite blushes, like the Dior ones or the M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow. You can see that it has that really nice blurred edge, so that looks really, really nice and flattering when you wear it as a blush, so you're not going to have those unflattering, harsh edges. They're perfectly pigmented, so they're going to build up really nice and slow, so you have full control of the product, but they still show up. So it does remind me of the Dior ones and the M Cosmetics ones because they feel almost baked and they have that gorgeous, gorgeous glow running through them. Like, look at that. This is the only shade I have right now. It's the shade 17 Black Honey Pop, but I want the Cola Pop one so badly. They also have a ton of fun colors. Like, they have a gorgeous lilac and really cute pinks and peaches. I know these blushes are really popular, but I'm surprised they're not more popular because they're so good. Now let's chat about Danessa Myricks. This was a very easy product for me to pick. I adore their color fixes. These are kind of similar to the About Face eye paints, but I like to use these on my lips and my cheeks as well. They have a much more flexible formula, so you're able to wear them there. About Face is more for the eyes, I would say, because if you put them on your lips or your cheeks, they kind of look too pigmented and the formula is a little thick for there. So it just, it doesn't really work out as well as these. These have a much finer, thinner consistency, but that doesn't make them look chalky or streaky whatsoever. They're very stretchable, I guess, and the colors that she offers are amazing. I love their color line and the nudes line. I wish the neons line would come back. That's why I'm holding this, just in case if they see this, please bring back the neons, especially the shade Bubblegum. It's the most beautiful, vibrant, vibrant bubblegum pink. It's so fun to work with. These are so fun to get creative with. They unleash my creativity creativity and they also allow me to do a lot of groundwork for my makeup. I can use them on my eyes as contours, as bronzers, as blushes, as lip products, as lip liners, anything. They're incredible, not only for personal use, but if you're a working makeup artist, this would be an incredible product to have in your kit because they're small and they're so versatile. Multi-purpose products are so unbeatable to me. I love them. The next brand is Dior and my favorite product from them are their blushes. I currently have pink and rosewood. I did purchase cherry online this week. It's on the way to me right now and I'm beyond excited to see what that color looks like. But let's talk about this formula because it's really cool. It took me a while to fall in love with it because whenever you swatch them on your hand, they look really unassuming and boring. They almost look kind of ashy or powdery or chalky. The real magic of these unveils once you put them on your cheeks and they adjust to your foundation and everything else you have on your skin already. It just unleashes the vibrant and they are so beyond flattering. They're very, very blurring powders. I always say that this formula feels like it's been infused with a beautiful blurring translucent powder. I just, whenever my cheeks feel very textured, I layer this on top and I feel like it just diffuses that whole situation. These are also really fun to layer on top of cream blushes. It just makes them look really, really flattering or it alters the tint of them just slightly. They're amazing on their own, but they're also really fun to experiment with. That's where I'm getting at with these. These are super, super popular online, and sometimes I feel like those overhyped products aren't worth it, but these are truly worth it. I just continue to expand my collection more and more with every like Sephora sale. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite products. I'm so excited to talk about this next blush. I love talking about blushes. It's my favorite topic, you know that. The next brand is Gucci Beauty, and yes, I gave it away already. It's the blushes. <laughs> I honestly collect these like infinity stones. Actually, I don't know why I said that, because I've never watched an, um, that Avengers movie. Endgame. But these blushes are beautiful. These are not only powder blushes in my eyes, they have a really nice hydrated feel. These are all the colors I have currently. This was my first love, my introduction to the Gucci Beauty blushes. This is the shade 06 Warm Berry. It's a stunning fall shade. It's like a burnt brick 
orangey flattering color. The next shade I picked up was 05 Rosy Beige because it's like, I feel like I could wear that every day. You can pair this with any look. Look at that, it's so nice. And the one I picked up recently is the Cool Pink. This is the shade 07 True Pink. This is very similar to the Dior one. You do not need both, but I decided I needed both. It acts very similar to the Dior one. It's not as soft texture as the Dior ones. They're not as hardly pressed. These ones feel a lot softer, more silky, more moisturized, and they do have a little bit of a glow running through them, so they look creamy when you put them on your skin. These are also perfectly pigmented blushes, meaning that you're not going to be overwhelmed with pigment on your face you can build them up really nicely you have that control still but these just go on so easily they're such wonderful products they're definitely Gucci's best in my opinion and the packaging is just to die for so if you want a little bit of something luxurious but you don't have the budget for like a bag from Gucci this is a really great option because you get the beauty of the Gucci and you get to use it every single day because it's a beautiful stunning blush formula. I love these. I just can't say enough good things about this blush formula. The next brand I have laid out is Jones Road and my number one favorite is of course the tinted face powders. I love this. This is one of those products that became an immediate favorite once I saw its effect. There is no more blurring powder than this one and that effect lasts all day. I just haven't come across a powder that works as well as this one with every foundation, with every concealer and everything I layer on top. It's just a magic powder. And I love how they came out with a pink one. It just brightens your under eyes so beautifully. And especially if you wear a lot of pink blushes and a pink tones on your face, it just looks really flattering and cohesive with the rest of the things you have on. Just such a wonderful product. I am head over heels in love with this one. <laughs> It replaced all of my other favorite powders in an instant. The next brand I have is Kaleidos, and this is my favorite product from them. I just think this is one of the most striking and most beautiful palettes I've ever seen. It's the Glowing Iris Eyeshadow Quad. The colors are just so unique. I love these more indigo-y purples. I think they're stunning. And their eyeshadow formula is like none other. It's super easy to work with. They're so pigmented, and they last really well. It just is so beautiful. I'm getting lost just looking at it in my monitor here. I just love them. And if you aren't specifically drawn to the colors in this one, I suggest looking at other palettes from them because their formula is just incredible. The next brand is L'Oreal, and this is one of my favorite makeup discoveries of the year. This is the Glow Paradise Balm in Lipstick. My favorite shade specifically is 130 Nude Heaven. It is a gorgeous kind of mauve but warm nude lip color. I just love this texture. It's very, very unique. I haven't tried anything quite like this one before, but it has such a thin consistency, but such a glossy finish. And they don't feel like a balm on the lips, which is sometimes really nice. It just feels completely barely there, like it's not even on your lips. But these are stunning. Whenever I'm running errands and I see these in the makeup aisle, I quickly grab another color. <laughs> But still, 130 is my number one. Next brand is LYS, and my favorite product from them is still the Triple Fix Concealer. This one is wonderful, especially if you like those concealers that feel kind of more serum-y and more glowy. This one has a really thin texture, but it has that really hydrating feel. It has amazing coverage, but it doesn't look like it adds a lot of coverage under the eye. It doesn't lay thick once it's laid down. It's super, super thin, but the coverage is so potent, and it's great. If you haven't tried this one yet, you're missing out. I have another concealer from the next brand, which is Lancome. My number one favorite is still the All Over Concealer. This one's kind of similar to the LYS, just a matte version of it. It has a very soft feel. It looks amazing paired with the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. It kind of has that same kind of texture where it has a little bit of luminosity, but a very beautiful velvety self-setting texture. Incredible. If ever I'm having really dark circles, I grab this one, or I like to spot correct on my face with this one too, because it has that gorgeous soft matte texture. Incredible. I don't believe Merit was in my last video like this, but my favorite from Merit is for sure the Flesh Balms. My number one favorite color is Fox. It's such a gorgeous, summery, fall tone. Look at that. 
it's gorgeous. These have such a gorgeous translucency to them and a beautiful glow, so it adds such a beautiful dimensional look to your cheeks. I love to just rub this all over my face. I'll take it all across my nose like this and on my forehead and a little bit on my chin for like a beautiful subtle flush of color. These are great, especially if you're transitioning to cream products. It's very easy to use this. Super user friendly, very sheer if you like kind of like those no makeup makeup looks. This next one I feel like will be the most shocking product, but the next brand is MAC. <laughs> and this is what I thought of immediately when choosing products for this video. Yeah, the squirt gloss sticks. <laughs> I have to take back what I said in my roundup when I said they're really nice but they're nothing to squirt about. Okay, that's my final conclusion on those. I think they're they're worth a, l a little bit. They're just really fun to use, especially the more funky colors. They're really awesome to layer on top of colors you want to neutralize. Like if you have a red lipstick that turned out to be a little too orangey for your taste, you add a little bit of the blue and it neutralizes it to a more blue toned red. I just have had so much fun creating really fun lip combos with these. And I love how similar these are to the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glows. They have that same amount of glow and gloss. They make your lips look really, really juicy and it has a little bit of a plumping sensation. It's more of like a minty kind of plump and not like a stingy ouchy kind of plump. It just feels really nice and cooling and refreshing. I traveled with this one in Greece and I loved to just pair it with the red tones I was wearing. My love for these grow and grow and grow and it was just the first product to come to mind when I was trying to think of what my favorite product from MAC was. It might be surprising but I, I'm loving these more and more and more every day. <laughs> I am delighted to talk about the next product. My favorite product from Melt Cosmetics is of course the Slick Waterline Eye Pencils. And for a moment there, I was so scared at the future of these. I thought that they were slowly discontinuing them and then they came out with more shades Then I was put at ease, okay? They came out with a really beautiful warm brown, a white and a black recently and I cannot be more thrilled. But these are the best eyeliners. They're just everything that you want in an eyeliner. You can create anything with these. You can easily use these as an all-over eyeshadow if you want. You can use them as a smoky eyeliner, a really nice sharp eyeliner. In the waterline, they stay put. They don't flake or crumble or leave throughout the day. I can wear it in my waterline comfortably without it messing up my contact lenses, which is so rare for eyeliner pencils. They're just so amazing and so silky when you're working with them. They feel so creamy and you're like, how's this ever going to set? But they do, they do. They have such a stretch to them. Like, look at this black. You can really, really work it to smudge it out. This is exactly the kind of pencil you want when you're creating a black smoky eye, just so that you have the time to smudge it out and build it up if you need. You don't want to be faced with way too much pigment at first. I am so thrilled that they brought out those colors. We got to talk about Makeup by Mario. This should come to no surprise, but my favorite product from them is still the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. This is a beautiful, balmy bronzer. This gives your skin so much dimension. It gives the perfect kiss of bronze, but it also adds this uh, dimensional glow to your skin. It truly makes you look like you're glowing and you just stepped off the beach. I just adore how transformative this product is, and I can wear it with any type of look from my most natural looks to my most full glam looks. It just somehow suits everything. It's the best. My favorite product from Milk Makeup is the Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. This is the best setting spray for longevity. It just makes your looks just stay there all day. It took me a while to figure out what my favorite was from Milk. I feel like they used to be one of my top favorite brands, but now I think there's other things that have sadly replaced a lot of my old favorites from them. But this product's effect is still very unique to me. It just really grips my makeup down all day. I never get tired of talking about the Makeup for ever artist pencils, especially since expanding my collection more and more. These are amazing multi-purpose pencils. You can use them as lip liners or as eyeliners. I love using them as eyeliners because they're so perfect for smudging. They're very user-friendly. They have like a very powdery feel to them, but of course you get the benefits of it being a pencil. Just like the Melt Cosmetics ones, these ones have a lot of stretch and you have a lot of workability with these ones. The only difference is that this one doesn't really set, like these aren't the best for putting in the waterline directly. They do fade throughout the day, but this is awesome at creating like a smoky liner or smoky eye along the perimeter of your eye, just not, not in it. 
and they make for beautiful lip liners. You get kind of like a soft velvety finish to them. You don't get a super, super sharp, sharp look, which I like that. I love me a nice blurred lip line and they have so many beautiful shades to choose from. NYX has really been stepping up their game lately. There has been so many great products like the Fat Lip Drip Oils or the Ultimate Glow Shot Shadows, but my favorite is of course the Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I feel like I've been talking about this product way too much on my channel but it's really revolutionary to my base. I love how it looks under my eyes and on my face. This is what I took to Europe as my foundation and it worked just wonderfully. It lays so good on your skin, like no other, honestly. It has such a nice serum-y texture but it has so much coverage. It's very similar to the texture of the Kosas Revealer Concealer, just a little bit thicker than that, but it wears wonderfully on all areas of your skin. It sets perfectly, it looks just really flattering, and it kind of moves with you so it never breaks up or makes your skin look crepey or cakey. It's just so easy to love. Next up we have NARS, and my favorite product from them has been this little eyeshadow quad which I feel like there are so many more iconic products from NARS, but this one just really struck me. <laughs> I wore this so much this summer. It's such a gorgeous eyeshadow quad. It's the Laguna quad. It looks very, very boring, but I just couldn't stop wearing it. The shimmers in here are stunning. You get two different types. You have these more smooth satins and then a really nice kind of coppery glittery shade and the matte in here is the perfect matte. It's what I crave to put into my crease every single day. It was just my everyday summer eye look in one little palette. My favorite product from Nabla Cosmetics is the Cupid's Arrow Full Color Stilos. They have a variety of beautiful shades from very neutral ones to these very colorful ones as well. I feel like I have struggled in my makeup career to find really consistent, smooth, and creamy, and non-cracking, and chalky, or thick feeling pencils to create really fun and unique colorful eye looks, but ever since finding these, it has changed. These are so easy to use and maneuver on your eyes, and not only are they great for the eyes, they're actually multi-purpose products similarly to the Makeup Forever pencils, so you can use these on your eyes, lips, and cheeks, or however else you figure out how to use them, but they're incredible. You can get this really impactful look but they're also really easy to blend out they have beautiful working time they set down eventually to this nice powdery feel so you don't have to worry about them creasing on your eyes they just really put some magic into this formula one that I really suggest is the black one, especially if you love doing smoky eyes or if you like layering multi-chrome shadows on top of them to bring out the other shifts. Very, very easy to use. And I like how they provide a little sharpener on the end, which makes things easier, especially if you're using these more so as eyeliners. Now for Rare Beauty, it was hard because I do have so many favorites from the brand. I actually recently filmed a video ranking every product from them, but it really came down to the product that brought me the most joy <laughs> when I apply them, and that is, of course, the liquid blushes. I think these are just super revolutionary. They're very different from past liquid blushes. These are super, super pigmented, so they work for a vast amount of skin tones, and they just last on your skin all day. Just the tiniest, tiniest amount of them will stretch beautifully. It's just a product I've raved about for years, and I will continue to do so. And if you aren't sure what shade would work for you the best, I actually have a YouTube shorts of me trying every single one of the shades on so I'll have that linked below. Moving on to my Romand favorites, it really came down to the Glasting Water Tints or the Juicy Lasting Tints but I went with the Juicy Lasting Tints because they offer so many fun shades and I tend to reach for them more and more. These are staining lip products but they have such fun colors. I'm going to swatch a few right now. This is one of my newer shades. It's the shade Bearberry Smoothie. It's a really nice Nice, cool pink. My number one favorite I would have to say is Bear Grape. It's the one I have been wearing the most often. It's a really nice just mauvey pink. But I'll swatch the rest here real quick. Continuing we have Fig Fig. This one is Nucadamia and this one is Pomelo Skin. So these are all of the shades I currently have. I ha kind of have something for everything here but these are beautiful. They have a really lacquered finish on top 
that feels really nice. Not very glossy on your lips, they just feel kind of like a lip lacquer, which is really nice. And they do also stain your lips underneath, so you don't have to touch them up as often. Moving on to rose ink, my number one favorite is, of course, still the blush. <laughs> I just love this one. I think it's one of the best cream blushes out there, in my opinion. It just gives your cheek such a beautiful finish. My favorite shade is still Foxglove. It's a really nice, warm, kind of orangey pink. It kind of shifts depending on where your skin tone is at. When I'm paler, it looks more corally, or if I'm more tanned, it looks a little bit more bronzy. But this cream blush just gives your skin such a dewy look, but not a dewy feel, which is so important to me. I hate when my hair gets stuck on my blush, and it doesn't do so because there is a really pretty pearl in here that really makes it look dewy, and it has a thicker texture, which is really nice for blending, but then once it's on, it just melts in and it stays put. And you can also use these on your lips for a really cute monochromatic look. That's all I have to say about those. They're amazing. <laughs> My Tower 28 favorites have changed a lot through the years. I do love so many of their products, like the blushes and the glosses are incredible, but I have been using the lip pencils every single day. It's what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the shade Work of Art, which is the more brown one, but I also love the shade Fill Me In, which is this more pinky mauve shade. These are so nice. They're kind of like a perfect mix of the MAC lip pencils and the Makeup Forever pencils, but just in my perfect everyday lip colors. That's what I would have to say about these. And you can also use these on your eyes too, which is awesome. I just adore multi-purpose products. Half Magic Beauty is a newer brand and I've tried so many of their products, but nothing has struck me as much as their sparkly glosses. Um, my favorite is the shade Frosty Bitch. It's such a stunning gloss. I'm gonna put some on right now because I feel like my lips are getting dry, but it gives your lips so much volume because of the beautiful glitter in here, so it just exaggerates the glossy effect. And the gloss is very comfortable. It feels more like a silky, watery gloss instead of a classic stickier gloss. Really fun, very unique. And although I'm not big on glittery glosses, this one passes my standards because I don't feel the glittery pieces on my lips when I rub them together. It's very, very seamless and I don't feel it at all. Elf Cosmetics has also had a fire year. There has been so many amazing products, but my favorite is this one. I use this every single day. The Power Grip primers are unbeatable. They are magic glue for your makeup. <laughs> they just make such a huge difference in the longevity of my makeup. They just really work. <laughs> There's nothing else to say. They have been really transformative. My Fenty favorite has got to be the matchstick still. I love the ease of use of these. They're such a nice, perfectly pigmented cream stick, so you can just draw them on your face directly without it being way too much on your face. I love the shades Amber and Amber Suede. I have the shade Amber Suede as my bronzer today. I also love how these have kind of like a soft matte finish to them, which is very unique for like a sculpting stick. A lot of them have been on the glowier side this year and we don't really see this matte texture, but this just looks exactly like a powder once it's on, but I find it easier to blend and easier to control than a classic powder would be. Picking a Kosas favorite was difficult for me. It came down to the gloss or the powder and I picked the powder because it just saves my life sometimes, okay? This is one product I have in my purse at all times, as you can see, it's like on its last legs. It's about to break. <laughs> but this is an amazing powder. I love using this as a blotting powder or as a fixing powder. It just makes my makeup look so fresh. I'm actually going to put on a little bit right now. I feel like my skin is starting to get nice and oily. So I'm just going to take some on my brush here just to really refresh it. I feel like it adds the perfect amount of blur, but it also doesn't cut all of the shine, so I still have a really nice skin-like finish. The name is perfect. It truly gives your skin a cloud-like finish. It's just one of those makeup products that has been a huge favorite for years. Mr. Patrick Ta has changed my life <laughs> with the blush duos. These are still my number one favorite from him, and I love how he continues to bring out these most gorgeous colors. He recently launched three more, and I'm pretending he didn't because like, I don't need any more, but like the colors look so good. What do I do? Don't need them. But anyways, <laughs> 
they're stunning. They're so stunning. I love how it just makes your life so easy. You get a powder and a cream and you can have so much fun mixing the two or layering the two over top of one another. It just is so versatile and you can get so many different cheek effects with one product. Moving on to Huda Beauty, it came down to the lip contour 2.0s for me. I use these nearly every single day. The shade Pinky Brown is very similar, very close to my natural lip color. So it just defines them perfectly and just evens them out a little bit. I also love the shade Honey Beige. They're just two staples of mine. They're such a nice pencil because they're super creamy. They define perfectly. They're a little bit more on the thick side in comparison to the other lip liners I mentioned in today's video. So they'll give you that kind of sharp, sharp look, but it also dries down so they last so long, especially if you go out to eat or something, this will be guaranteed on your lips at the end of your meal. Another thing I adore about this lip pencil is that it's mechanical, so you can just scroll them up so you don't have to carry around a sharpener, but if that worries you because you like to have a nice sharp tip, they have a little sharpener at the end. Talking about M Cosmetics, I feel like my favorite from them has changed throughout the years, but right now it's the heaven's glow blushes i feel like these are just so striking and the effect is just so lovely it adds a really gorgeous veil of glow this is a really nice product it's kind of like a two-in-one for me i like to apply these higher up on my cheek so it looks kind of like a, a blush and a highlighter duo if you like the charlotte tilbury pink gasm you're going to love the shade venetian rose in this because it's pretty much the powder version of the Charlotte Tilbury wand. I loved baked products because they're just so nice and airy and so easy to work with. You can just tap in there once and you'll get the perfect amount on your cheeks. I love that they have a little bit of a glow in there. The pearl that's inside this product is so fine so it just makes it look like a creamy product when this has no moisture in it whatsoever. When you feel this product it actually feels quite dry but the effect would make you believe otherwise. Like, look at that. They offer many different colors, but I also love Rococo, which is a nice bronzy brown-ish leaning color, and Baroque, which is kind of like a more subtle version of Rococo. Better for people with lighter skin tones. Those are my three favorites. Say is another newer brand. I don't believe it was in last year's video, but my favorite product from them is the Dew Blush. A lot of the blushes in today's video, but this specific shade Chili is my favorite winter color. It also has a really stunning formula. I'll talk about that first. It has kind of like a nice serum-y, glowy feel, but with a lot of pigmentation for its texture. They blend out with such ease and they give a really gorgeous kind of glassy glow without the stickiness. Stunning. What do you guys think my Urban Decay favorite is? I don't think it's gonna be hard, but it's of course the Moon Dust eyeshadows. I love the shade Space Cowboy. I mean, who doesn't? It really took the internet by storm this year and so off topic, but I think they're releasing a Moon Dust eyeshadow palette. I will be purchasing that. But this is such a stunning eyeshadow. It's a beautiful topper, or I love to use it on its own as a beautiful one and done. It gives a really romantic feel to your eye look. It has such tiny, shiny, microscopic glitters in here, which enhance the light so stunningly. And it also has a really pretty base color, which I find to be very, very flattering. It's just, it shines like no other. It's one of those products that I truly feel addicted to. Whenever I'm done a matte eye look, I have to like use all my strength to not layer this on top of it. Like I was so close to slathering this all over my eye today, but I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> we have two more products to go. My iconic London favorite is the Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint. This is such a stunning product. If you are familiar with the Fenty Beauty Blurring Eavesdrops, this is very comparable, but just even more refined in the blurring effect. It lays thinner on my skin. I feel like it goes over top of my texture and imperfections a lot better, covers them beautifully, but it still gives a nice skin tint effect. It is amazing. And this is for sure still my favorite skin tint. And we're ending with a banger. My favorite product from YSL Beauty is the All Hours Foundation. This is one of my top favorite products of the year and it's now one of my favorite foundations. I feel like this gives my skin such a beautiful glowy appearance with a full coverage effect. I am not one to love full coverage foundations but this one is easy to love because it has such a thin and refined texture. It feels like a lightweight sheer foundation but it has that sneaky coverage that just makes my skin look completely 
completely flawless. It works well with all of my primers, all of my concealers, and with anything I put on top of it. It just is so easy and effortless and trustworthy. It was kind of a sneaky foundation. I didn't realize my love for it until I clued in that I was reaching for it every single day. And then I was like, oh, I guess I really, really love this one. <laughs> But there we have it. Those are my number one favorite products from most brands I have in my collection. Let me know if you'd like to see this video yearly because it's going to be interesting to see how things change over the years. But that's going to be everything from me. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I will have everything linked in the description down below. So feel free to check that out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.